2015 weather forecast. Well, their weather snapshot this week is something that we've seen quite a bit of, and we're, of course, seeing it today, too. A lot of that haze. And this is sent in by Gary Pope at the Westgate Sportsman Club. And, uh, yeah, overlooking the water, but look ahead into the distance, and that's where you see a good bit of that haze. And that's going to be the story for today, despite the fact that we have had some cloud cover move in and giving way to some showers towards western Wisconsin. But if you'd like your work showcased on our weather snapshot segment, feel free to submit your photos to weau.com slash weather. Now here's a look at the last three hours on the satellite and radar. Just a few showers. It's been more widespread further towards the south in parts of northeastern Iowa. That's where they had some stronger storms uh, out of that as well. Now further towards the north, things are a bit more widespread too. A little bit of a gap here towards the Chippewa Valley, but we are still looking at that very poor air quality uh, for this morning and expected to continue into the afternoon. Some parts of the state have that air quality index approaching 300, and that's where you get into that hazardous category. Meanwhile, for the rest of us towards the western part of the state, mostly in between that unhealthy for sensitive groups and that just generally unhealthy category. So make sure to limit uh, your time outdoors for today. And we will have a few chances at some scattered showers and storms, mostly confined towards our northern counties, at least towards the latter half of the morning and early afternoon. Later on this evening, there is the potential for some strong to severe storms. However, the smoke could come into play and effectively choke off uh, some of that development. Otherwise, our temperatures starting off pretty mild today. Upper 60s, low 70s, some upper 50s further towards the east where it took a little bit longer for that cloud cover to work in. But our winds are starting to pick up out of the south now. That's going to bring in more of that low-level moisture, which is one of the ingredients which would uh, be conducive towards that severe weather threat. However, going into uh, this afternoon with the return of that smoke, that may choke off some of the development of those uh, towering cumulus that you would typically see with severe weather. Now going into this evening, right around the hours of 6 to about 11 o'clock, that's when we have the biggest threat. Skycast not quite picking up on it, uh, but there are other models that are showing that severe threat still in existence as we will have that instability and we'll have some of those mid-level winds that we would need for that severe thunderstorm development. It's just the smoke that uh, may come into play. But going into tomorrow afternoon, this is where we'll have more sunshine, possibly a chance at a shower storm towards the latter half of the afternoon. But I do think most of tomorrow will stay dry. And then looking ahead at Friday, this is where just we'll have a couple passing clouds from time to time. Now, as far as that severe weather threat, the Storm Prediction Center still has us under a level two uh, risk of severe weather, with the main threats being those damaging winds, the potential for large hail. Now, as far as a tornado, non-zero, not a, a very high uh, risk of a tornado, but it's something that we can't rule out either. Temperatures today expect to climb to the low to mid 80s, scattered showers and storms, and all well, that haze is sticking around, and the potential for more showers and storms tonight as we dip to the low to mid 60s. Beyond that, mid-80s take us into the weekend, drying out, and most of the holiday weekend expect to stay dry, and we do heat up going into the start of next week, and that first week of July looks to start in the upper 80s and low 90s, with the holiday itself bringing a few chances at some showers and storms. Now for a Sunshine Award, Lindsay Jacqueline would like to nominate Gary Jacqueline and says, My dad Gary is a wonderful man, and he will put others' needs above his own. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.